All right. Okay, no more all right. I'm tired of always editing my videos and realizing at the beginning of them that I'm always just, well, all right, you know. One of those things of hearing yourself enough times you get annoyed by it. Challenge start. Here we go. Diverse world for this Wednesday. And let me go through the uh, general burps, greetings, and salutations of saying welcome to me doing some hobby, doing some GeoGuessr. Uh, if this interests you, great, cool. Glad you could be here. If you happen to have any suggestions for maps, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I will look at them and probably end up doing them like I have been for the past couple of Fridays. Um, if you happen to have any other game suggestions you'd like me to try, go ahead and put those in the comments as well. Um, I have Cottonwood. Okay. This looks very English. And I'm thinking it might be. You got a Rottweiler. Um, uh, next on the list of announcements, I've pretty much uh, got the uh, Battletech Fever out of my system, and this is going to be the last week of any uh, um, Battletech videos. Uh, thank you all for watching it, if you did. If you uh, did like that, I will probably be doing something else. Um, whether or not it's going to be this week, uh, maybe not. It is um, getting into Christmas, which is next week, then my birthday, then New Year's. So if it goes back to just some GeoGuessr for the next couple of weeks, you'll understand why. Um, I have no idea if I'm going to do... <clears throat> Any other game on the channel, if I do, eh, I will just ta Trakara? Where the fuck is this? This is such a weird, like, just off-brand Europe, it feels like. Let me see your car. You're going to tell me where we are. Okay, you are driving on the British side of the road here, so... We are at least, oh, Sycamore View, bed and breakfast. All right, well, I'm going to zoom in a bit to, like, right here, and then go from that. We're going to go one little click this way, and look at this sign. Camping and Car Caravan Park, Adare Camping and Caravan, you say, huh? Hmm. I don't know. I got 57 seconds. Have to remember to click and choose a spot to guess. Uh, I'll just say we are there for zero reason other than the fact I had to pick a place. This doesn't feel close enough to water to uh Feel the cough, sorry. I should yawn, I should be better than that. Although I do see a clover, and now... Now you see... This just might be... Just because I saw one shamrock, I immediately think it's Ireland. Oh, let's take a look at this truck. This will help me. Sheriff. Well, I do know there's a sheriff, and it's like over here, isn't it? Fuck. Adare, it's right there. You dumb fuck. You did see the clover. It's terrible. Uh, that was bad. Anyway, this feels like South America. Hmm. Uh, is there anything else I wanted to talk about just to get it out of the way? I don't think so. Um, Battletech is done. Might be a little light in the next couple of weeks as far as uh, things in the channel. 
But as far as I know, GeoGuessr will continue. Barring something real weird happening. But I don't think so. So we are trying to figure out where the fuck this is. Is this Brazil? Uh, I don't know. Batista. Asador. It's a Churrascaria, so I know that that's generally a Brazilian thing. So, uh, maybe it is. Animal Planet. Oh, it's a vet. Okay. I think that this is actually going to be... Yeah, there's dot B-O. Bo. Bolivia. You don't say. Hmm. Is there a Batista in Bolivia? I don't think I've had a Bolivian guess yet. That's cool. Hmm. Quick look. Not seeing it. All right. So I think I've got the uh, the country. I think I might have just got a little lucky with that. That was very much going to pick probably Brazil. Let's see what we got here. Ooh. All oh, this shit looks great. Fucking real tasty ass food. Give me some of that. What are we selling here? Hmm. All right, enough of me just staring, making noises. How's your week been so far? Um, I'll be ready for it to be done myself. I'm very much. We're near uh like fish hook stuff, so I think we're near water. Am I gonna say we're La Paz? I'm gonna say La Paz and just be there. Um, yeah, it's a, uh, just ready to not be working. I just feel like I don't want to work this week. It sometimes happens where you're just like, all right, this is a week. I don't care about work. I'm just doing it. It's a great day. And then it's just, eh, I could do without it this week. This is essentially it. There's really no, like, I hate work. I don't want to do any work. So it's like, nah. If someone was to, like come up to me in the morning and be like, hey, you want to work today? I'd be like, nah, I think I'm fine. I mean, I don't want to lose the job, but I think I could just not work today. You get those every now and then. Uh, and just make sure it stays at that and doesn't continue to be, oh, it was good not working, and now I just never want to work again. I don't think I want to do that. There was a short time when I didn't have, uh, when I had a seasonal job, and it ended, and it was, I already had my next job lined up, or seasonal, it was done, I wasn't going to do another one, that, okay, am I going to get La Paz right? Oh, I did get the country right, though, it was just the other very large city in the country, I'm fine with that. Uh, it was a thing where I was technically unemployed for uh, well, seasonal work says when you're not in the season, then you don't work, you're unemployed. You can either find another temp job or you can just stay on unemployment. Um, I very much hated that job and did not want to do it again. So I had my uh, next job lined up and it was just a matter of time before I could actually get before that job started. So I was just hanging out at home for about three weeks. And first week, great. Second week, you're kind of in the routine of uh, <clears throat> maybe waking up at 11, just ambling about the apartment, and then you realize it's 4 p.m., and the day's essentially done. You, there, there's like this um, declaration of time you do to yourself when you don't work, where it's like, okay, this time of day, it's just like, well, the day's kind of done. You know, all normal people... They'll be kind of getting out of work real soon. The night's already started. And then the rest of the day is just essentially night. It's it's weird how, I don't know if it's 
universal with everybody, if it was just me and most of my friends, that the second you're unemployed, you're just immediately staying up the entirety of the night. You might go to bed at like six, maybe seven. Um, wake up, middle of the afternoon type thing. There was always this sense, it wasn't like shame, but it was just maybe more of like a realization when you wake up and you, um, well, when you're going, when you're still awake and the people who um, have a normal job and wake up in the morning, you were hanging out with them at night. They had gone to bed and have woken up and are leaving for work. And in that entire span, you've still been awake. It's a weird feeling. Or like, no, you shouldn't have been sleeping at this time. This is awake time. You're going to work. No, that's sleep time. What's happening? And then you're just doing the, oh, I'm just not doing work. This sucks. I'm just wasting away. Doing nothing, but I still have the job lined up. I definitely don't know if retirement, I'll lose my mind with stir craziness, but... I'll also be older, and if he, even if I do exist long enough to not work and pay for my not working, hopefully I can figure out how to uh, occupy my time. Uh, I gotta make a guess before I forget. I'll say there. Um, yeah, it's funny with a retirement where you're saving all this money up to enjoy not working, and then end up dying before your money's gone. And you're just like, I invested all this time and I can't even get to enjoy it. You're going to give it to somebody else who I made as a child a couple of decades into my life? No. Just bury me with that money. Be complete, total selfish asshole. Mm. Maybe that's why I don't have kids. Or didn't really want any. I think I made a good guess. Probably not. I'll just say here. I'm going to finish the guess here. And I got the country correct. Nice. We were near Vebomark. Cool. I'll take it. Hmm. Mexico? Maybe Mexico. Get me on the road again. Okay, so this is going to have some potential signage. Feeling a little confident being able to figure out where this is. Interesting light set up. I've not seen one of these. Also, why are these lights on this side? So you can see it farther down the line? I don't know. I'm a little confused by this. I've not seen any signs anywhere. A lot of people waiting for the bus. Can I get over here? No, I can't. All right. Let's just keep going until maybe I see a sign. Dude with a duffel bag. He's smoking or drinking? I think he's drinking. Um, Did I go the wrong way? I don't think I did. What is this? Don't blur it out on me like that. Choppies build and save hardware store. That doesn't that doesn't help me. <clears throat> Give me a billboard. Is this a bill board? Uh the sun is right on it. I can't make that out. I'm gonna go a little farther and if I don't see a sign, okay, here we go. Um Lens Lens Wallow? We're down here, aren't we? Kapong? K-O-P-O-N-G. I feel like I've seen that. Hmm. Okay. I think I have a region of the world, at least, down here. Um, let's see what this sign says. Of course, you're blurred out. Why wouldn't you be? Two clicks. One more click. We got the Metsimoth Habe River. That doesn't help me. 
What about this sign? Bus bay? Oh, my phone just exploded. That was weird. Hmm. Roadworks. Doesn't help me. Okay. Let's see what this sign says. I think this will have an intersection for... Okay, here we go. This is what I was looking for. Gabarone, the A12. There's Gabarone. A12, okay. Um, Kapong, aha! Here we go. We were near the intersection of that. Let me hit home. Come back out here. Go... Down this way, because there was that sign that said Kapong on it. Now I want to know. Um, okay, here we go. Lalilulilwao. Lensawalettao. Okay, it was there. And Kapong. Going on this road was going to get us to Gabarone and the A12. So, this way for both of those. We're like here? Uh, no, we were actually directly in town, in town. And, that's, yeah, okay, yep. Yeah, I think it did say that in the sign. I got real, real close, though. I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with that. I almost felt like it got us the same exact one again, but no, that is incorrect. Tomasama, Gore, Bochella. Well, I do. Okay. No idea what this is yet. Let's see what these trucks got to say. Hmm. That is a beat up little Nissan or a Datsun. Ellie's Hardware, Mama Lil. Well, there's a sign up here. All right, sign. Oh, Gabarone. Where near did this just happen to get us very close to the same two places again? Weird. Where's more Kane? Of all the Hmm. Well, it's Mukane, okay. So there's a turn off the A one here. We're heading this way. It will be left. So maybe we're like there? Weird. I almost feel like this is going to be a glitch and it's going to like be like, no, you said here, but it's actually like not. No, I think, I think, hmm, I think this is good. That's just interesting that it ended up having two places very close to each other. On a very un uh, unfrequented country when it comes to GeoGuessr. Okay, we got Francis Town. This this is gonna help us a little bit. Mahala Paye. Francis Town. Or Farsis Town. And then Mukane is there. We're like down here, actually. That was a turn off for, I think I'm going the right way. Francis Town and Mahalapaye. So Mukane. So we're like there, I think. I think I got it. This deserves a sip. Hmm. Ah. Hold on, let me just check my texts. It's very important. Ah. ah, let's just sit here and enjoy the rest of our time together, shall we? It's a Wednesday. The it'll be the eighteenth? Yeah, it'll be the eighteenth when this is up. Um, uh, middle of the week. Week's almost over, surprisingly. Wednesday is just that tipple point when you uh, pretty much finish up with your 
um, week. You wouldn't think it happens, but Thursday's a pretty quick day. I mean, it sucks because it's in between your last day to Friday, but it'll be gone. This shit will happen faster than you think. Me, on the hand, while I take these last couple of seconds here, once again, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you have any map suggestions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I will look at them and get to them. If you have any other suggestions for games you'd like to see me try since Battletech is going away, uh, I'll take a look at them and consider them. Or maybe I'll just go back to random smatterings of stuff. Who knows? Um, I was pretty close, but I want you to know that I did really well this time, except for United Kingdom Ireland thing, but we're going to let that slide. Your Wednesday is now ready to go and or done, depending on what time you watch this. Go out and do the rest of the day. I'm going to try to do the same too. You have yourself a good day, and we'll see you here real soon. Bye, folks.